Life's too short to drive boring cars. So maybe you're just thinking, you want a plain old, cheap, simple little car to get you from A to B. Maybe your parents need a car, maybe your kids need a car, or maybe you just want a car but it's not going to break the bank, it's going to run as cheap as possible. Guess what? I'm going to share a list of five great cheap cars that you should buy if all you want to do is get from A to B. Let's get into it now. So the first one on my list is a very popular choice. You see them all over the roads. Lots of young drivers like them because they're stylish, they look sporty, and they're fun and quite economical to drive. And it's a Mitsubishi Lancer like this. Right here, we have a Lancer. Now that you can get two different engine configurations, if we're not talking about the Evo, which is a hot version, the base models, you get a two liter four cylinder engine, or you can get a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine. The one makes 148 horsepower and the larger engine makes 168 horsepower. Now you can either get the CVT transmission or you can get a manual stick shift in these cars. And they're a lot of fun. Great style Mitsu, cycle around. They've got great headlight design on there. Some pretty cool wheels. Little design, some of this is aftermarket cheese. Great mirrors, look at the little lights on there. And of course you get this pronounced rocker panel. How about a basic little handle design? And the interior isn't exactly dressed up, not quite luxury car standards, but it's efficient and it works. Here you also have a sunroof. And some of these cars, they come with a wing, which makes them additionally sporty. And that's why a lot of the younger drivers like these cars, particularly in the Lancer by Mitsubishi. How about these rear tail lights? Definitely looks aftermarket, but it's not. And these cars are actually relatively reliable. Sure, there's some nickel and dime issues. They don't sound like they're built like a tank. Yes, there's some rattles and clinks, but let's talk about a few of the minor issues. Rattles and squeaks throughout the chassis, front end ball joints, the clutch pedal sometimes makes noises, the sunroof sometimes squeaks or doesn't close entirely, and the handles have been known to come off. But generally speaking, nickel and dime issues. For the most part, the engine and the transmission are well made and they're not overly stressed. So they last and they last a long time. And when something breaks, it's cheap. So it's definitely a car I could recommend for a kid of mine or one of my parents. So my second choice goes to another simple basic mode of transportation. It's the wonderful Toyota Corolla. Now they're not perfect, but they are ultra cheap and they're very economical. And I would have no problems in recommending one to close family or parents. And here we are, the Toyota Corolla. This one's the LE version. As you can see, Corolla, you've got some simple little taillights by Toyota. Great little vents on the bottom and extra little spoiler on the rear. Adds a little touch of style to this vehicle. Wonderful handles, a little nicer than the Mitsu, back and front. No sunroof on this model, but the interior looks a little bit stepped up from the Mitsubishi Lancer for sure. Although not ultra exciting, it is still built to last the test of time. Basic little mirror. We only have hubcaps there. There's no aluminum wheels, very basic. Front end, look, great little headlight assembly. Absolutely does look sharp from the front end with the big grill, the big mouth grill that you're seeing on Lexus and Toyota products across the line. Here we are in this wonderful Toyota. And the engine underneath there is 138 horsepower, 1.8 liter, four banger, strapped to a CVT transmission, which everybody knows CVTs, continuously variable transmissions, aren't the most exciting experience. However, for a car of low power like this, and for somebody who just wants something basic and simple, it definitely does the trick. So what can possibly go wrong with a simple vehicle like this? Not much. EVAP systems are common issues that spit out check engine lights with these. Mass airflow sensors have been an issue. Random not starting issues do occur from time to time. But generally, there's not a whole lot for to go wrong on these vehicles. They're simple, robust, and you can easily get three, 400,000 miles if you just keep doing your oil changes, change the brakes, change the tires, and this car gets an amazing fuel economy as well. The Toyota Corolla, that's an easy one to recommend for anybody that you care about. And the next little hot rod is this beauty behind us and it's the Honda Civic. Great choice, any generation is pretty much a winner. The only one that you wanna avoid is that 1.5 liter turbo engine. There's problems with oil dilution. But other than that, most of them are great choices. But let's take a quick look here. Honda Civics have been around for a very, very long time and it's easy to see why. They're easy to live with, they're fairly stylish, fairly attractive, and although many recent models come with CVT transmissions, you can also get a manual gearbox in many of these cars, which is a great win. Now, there's not much to go wrong with these cars and when they do fail, it's a very, very cheap expense. For example, brakes, do a full brake job around here, take it to the shop, might cost you four or $500 all in. Oil changes, cheap. Nothing really breaks too much on these cars, and when they do, they aren't very expensive. 
expensive. But let's take a look. This generation is distinguishable by the taillights. As you see on here, there's the Honda. And looking down the side, you've got some great contours to it as well. And spinning, you'll see this wonderful little mirror. Very simple, basic, but effective. You've got a very cab forward look to it because of the long windshield is very sloped and sleek. It looks very sporty and sharp from every single angle. Doesn't look too far disconnected even from a Lamborghini Gallardo if you look at it in the right light. This model here, has aluminum wheels, and many of them do, but there are some base models that come with plastic hubcaps. Here you've got a sunroof, and some great contours and accents and details. Basic handles, back and front. And looking around the front here, you'll see a very sleek headlights assortment in this Honda. Besides the oil dilution problems in recent models, what else goes wrong? Well, not too terribly much, other than the soy wiring that are known to have been eaten by rodents. Power switch for the windows, the release for the hood, brakes sometimes at the handle, and the position sensor on the seat for the airbag and the passenger side sometimes has been known to be a little problematic. Other than a few of the nickel and dime issues, this car is extremely frugal, easy to live with, and ultra dependable. All you have to do is do your timing belt once every X so often, and you're good to go. Now the next model that I'd recommend because it's cheap to buy at about $23,000 starting price, you can't really go wrong and it's built by Toyota and it's the CHR as we have right here. Now there's a couple of early model issues that I want to talk about but first let's have a quick look around. These are cheap, frugal and fun to drive. They also look very sporty. Let's look. I love the looks of this new CHR. They've got some great flared fenders. They look a little muscular there for sure and look at these great accents by Toyota. And they've got this awesome little lip up there. It looks sharp and a real tail light. Almost looks like a Honda Civic. But the rear finishing actually looks very stylish as well. And you've got the plastic rock guards here and more plastic protection here. The entire vehicle is protected very well from stones coming off the road there so they don't smack the paint and ruin the paint job. Here we have a great keyless entry and the rear door is open in a different fashion. How about the mirrors? Love that style of mirror. Look very contoured, very sharp with this little light on there and more flare on the front. Absolutely looks sharp. It's a very attractive looking little car. More vents, looks very strong and contoured in the front. Wonderful headlight setup by this Toyota. Looks very, very sharp. And so the overall contour is quite attractive. Love the looks of it and it doesn't look like a lot of the other cars on the street. Look at the crisp looking wheels too. They look sharp. What's the interior look like? Well, the interior looks much, much nicer than some of its competitors, particularly at a $23,000 price tag. Toyota has certainly brought a lot of their premium model technologies to the picture in the CHR. So how is it that Toyota is so cheap with these cars? Well, there is unfortunately a couple of issues. One of them is the AC system. There's been known issues free on leaks and they just stop working completely. Early generational issues, I'm sure. I'm sure Toyota would likely get that sorted. CVT, because this is a 144 horsepower, two liter four cylinder engine strapped to a continuously variable transmission means that's always a risk. Every CVT transmission on the market seems to suffer certain issues. This one's no different. And there's some owners that have complained about CVT issues with them piling up low fluid levels, hums, whines, and just catastrophic failure. One customer even reported at 10,000 miles, there's failed flat out. Knowing Toyota, they'll likely get those issues sorted out in fairly short order and likely because this is a newer model, some of these problems are attributed to some of the newer packaging. And as a result, because it's so stylish, performs well, and it's so frugal, this is one that I have no qualms recommending to you, my friends and family, the Toyota CHR. Now the next one on my list is about as exciting as the snow that it's parked next to. Unfortunately, it's the Toyota Camry, but because it is so reliable, it's one that you just can't help deny. It's truly one of the go-to cars. If you want to recommend a car for your friends, family, or you, this is a great place to start. Starting around $26,000, you can get a four-cylinder engine, or you can get a small hybrid attachment, or you get the preferred three and a half liter V6 that makes about 301 horsepower, all strapped to an eight-speed automatic transmission which is different than some of the other vehicles that we spoke with CVTs. This is a little nicer. There we have the venerable Toyota Camry. Great aluminum wheels. And if you look here, it actually does look semi-sporty. Has keyless entry, great mirrors with a nice little chrome finish there. Some you can get sunroof, this one's plain Jane. Of course you get this wonderful little tea tray spoiler up here on the back on this Toyota Camry. Love the rear tail light assembly. It looks very sharp and crisp. Look at these little vents there. And you've got two pipes 
and no two pipes. So it's essentially a dual exhaust on this particular model. How about their rear finishing down there? And looking down the side, it looks sharp. How about those rocker panels are a little pronounced, makes it look aggressive. And looking at the front, you've got these wonderful new headlights by Toyota, fake vents, more fake vents, and the Toyota with the big wings. And of course, you've got a bit of a big mouth grill going on there, almost like Toyota and Lexus. Some great contours to the hood right there, you can see. Easy car to live with. All you do is put gas, change tires, brakes every once in a while, and your oil every 10,000 kilometers. But what's the interior like? Well, it's certainly not a Lexus, and it's not trying to be, but the interior is made up of high quality materials that are guaranteed to wear three, four, five hundred thousand miles. So there you go, the Toyota Camry, one that is easy to live with. I could give to my grandparents, my parents, my kids, and I could even drive one myself and not even worry about it. Great cars, a Toyota Camry. And with all of that said, maybe you're looking for a luxury car right there. How about that? Five great luxury cars, ultra reliable. Hope to see you real soon. Catch you then. Bye-bye.